a very good morning to all of you today uh, we will discuss our uh, next topic inverse laplace transform and it comes in the laplace transform and application uh, chapter unit number 6 and it holds comes in block number 2 uh, so here is the plan of the talk in first we will discuss uh, what is inverse laplace transform and some important formulas of inverse laplace transform and then we'll uh, move towards uh, for calculating the inverse laplace transform that uh, how we will calculate the laplace inverse laplace transform if the function is multiplied by else then we will find out the inverse mass uh, uh, inverse laplace transform if it is divided by s and uh, now we'll uh, after that we'll discuss some uh, different properties of inverse laplace transform say uh, say Uh, we will discuss a uh, first shifting theorem second shifting theorems and uh, we will also calculate the inverse laplace uh, transform of derivatives and integrals then finally we will move to the application part of the laplace transform that we will find out the solution of different type of differential equations by using the laplace transform and inverse laplace transform then uh, i will give some uh, self assessment question to all of you so before going to the inverse laplace transform first we will take a recap of the laplace transform because if you don't have any idea about laplace transform you uh, cannot uh, find out the inverse laplace transform so in our previous lec uh, lecture we have discussed that uh, uh, basically the definition of laplace transform is as we have to calculate the laplace transform of ft we can uh, calculate it by uh, integrating it From zero to infinity, e raised to r minus s t f t d t. Here, f t is the function uh, for which we have to calculate the Laplace. So basically, uh, we have understood that uh, Laplace convert or changes from the t domain or frequency do uh, time domain to the frequency domain. It changes the domain basically. Here you can say l capital L represent for the Laplace and capital F represent for the uh um, changes or in the frequency domain so by using this formula you can calculate the laplace transform this we have already discussed then we have discussed some important formula of laplace transform as uh, we have uh, calculated the laplace transform of e raised to power at which was 1 upon s minus a the laplace transform of sin at is a upon s square plus a square and the laplace transform of cos at is s upon s square plus a square you can see that the difference between the sin at laplace and cos at laplace is that the denominator is same but the difference is in the numerator in sin at the numerator is a and in cos at the numerator is s similarly we have we have already calculated the laplace of sin hyperbolic at and cos hyperbolic at here again in sin case sin hyperbolic at the numerator is a and in cos hyperbolic at numerator is s but the difference is in hyperbolic case the denominator is s square minus a square in both the cases in sin hyperbolic at cases and cos hyperbolic at cases so then we have calculated the t raised to power n laplace transform and we find out the t raised to power n laplace transform was n factorial upon s raised to power n plus 1 and again uh, this e raised to power b t sin a t is a upon s minus b whole square plus a square basically it is a for shifting theorem where if there is an exponential term with any term that there is the substitution of shifting of s minus b so we'll put here s minus b and this the laplace of this become this one again e raised to power b t cos a t this one is the laplace transform then we have also calculated some other uh, functions laplace and these are the values of different laplace transforms so uh, up to this we have already uh, discussed in our last lecture so we'll move towards the inverse laplace transform so basically if f is the laplace transform of a function ft then ft is known as the inverse laplace transform here ft denotes the time and fs denotes the frequency so here 
uh, we can say that ft is the inverse laplace transform of fs and this laplace trans inverse laplace and laplace transform is very useful for solving the differential equation without finding any general solution and arbitrary constant and we'll see uh, that how we can calculate the differential equation solution by using laplace and inverse laplace so first uh, we'll see some important formulas for inverse laplace transform so as we have already discussed that inverse laplace is just opposite of laplace transform so the inverse Lap uh, laplace transformation of this fs is fs function 1 by s minus a is eat again for e a upon s square plus a square is sin at and s upon s square plus a square is cos at you can see that these are just opposite in case means eat the laplace of eat is 1 by s minus a and the inverse of was 1 upon s minus a is e raised to power at so you can easily find out the inverse of different types of these function okay so uh, as sin hyperbolic at you know the laplace is this so its inverse is this so you can easily find out the laplace inverse laplace and laplace transformation now we will do some questions based on the inverse laplace so these are some important and easy questions where we have to find out the inverse laplace transform uh, of the following suppose uh, let us take the first question we have to take uh, the first question and we have to calculate the lap inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s minus 3 so you know that for 1 upon s minus 3 where s minus a is there definitely there must be an exponential term and a is here 3 so we know that laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus a is 380 okay so the laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus 3 is e raised to power 3t okay similarly if we have to calculate the inverse laplace of 1 upon s square minus 25 so you know uh, you can uh, change it as this 25 you can write it 5 square so laplace inverse of 1 upon s square minus 5 square but here there is no 5 and no s so you cannot change it as sin hyperbolic cos hyperbolic or cos at or sin at so there must be a sin or cos because there is a negative sign so it must be uh, s square minus a square type form means it must be a either uh, sine hyperbolic or cos hyperbolic but there is no s no a so we have to change it we cannot uh, write it as so because uh, in last we have to make this uh, s function uh, we have to change it into t function so we we'll have to multiply it or divide by 5 so you can change it as, as this 5 divided by 5 so 1 by 5 is cos 10 you can put it outside and this Laplace inverse of 5 upon s square minus a square basically this one is a and this one is a so you can write it 1 upon 5 sine hyperbolic 5t so this is the answer of this Laplace inverse of this function so uh, I want to um, ask the question uh, please try this question uh, question number 3 just find out the Laplace inverse of this s upon s square plus 16 and comment on chat box. What is the answer of this? Everyone, please try it. What will the answer of La inverse Laplace of this function? S upon s square plus 16. Everyone, let the Chufal is trying. Cos 40. Ma'am, cos 40. Uh, don't, don't ask anything. Just write it because there there will be echo. Everyone mute yourself. Oh, say that oh, there is everyone mute yourself, please. Just comment on.
yeah i'm seeing uh, everyone is trying sapna basera and uh, and shivangi jaiswal just see this formula this question sorry uh, here it is s square plus 16 not minus sign if you just see this table you can find out s square minus a square for sine hyperbolic terms and s square plus a square for cos at or sin at terms okay so here it is the answer yes for those uh, uh, get the result cos 40 uh, those are absolutely correct but for cos hyperbolic t you can see that here is a plus sign you cannot write it minus so uh, i can just uh, make it clear uh, the you have to calculate the laplace inverse of s upon s square plus 16 so uh, you have to just make it 4 square simplify it 4 square is here equal to so this is s upon s square plus a square denominator is s square plus a square means it must be sin at term or cos at type but the numerator is s so it must be cos 4 at okay now do the next question 1 upon s square plus 9 it's so simple again and comment on chat box try it properly again it's a very easy question and these question will be helpful uh, in your assignment questions also why are you writing 1 upon 3 sin t 1 upon 3 cos hyperbolic t anucha please chat on comment box okay so let's see the answer it is answer i think everyone have understand that one upon 3 sin 3 it is the answer cos tanuja cos hyperbolic will not be come because hyperbolic is for minus s square minus a square type okay try next question 1 upon s minus 2 whole square plus 1 and comment on chat box just see that it is s minus 2 terms means there must be an exponential term is here okay and there is no s means it is cos or sin quickly come on chat box so just we'll see the answer uh, it's we have to calculate the laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus 2 whole square plus 1 it means this there is a substitution or a, a shifting of this s minus 2 s minus is 2 is written where uh, there is a exponential term this 2 is a so we'll write directly e raised to power 2t and this is 1 square upon s square plus 
1 square means a is 1 and this one is plus there is no s so there will be sin t so the answer of this laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus whole square plus 1 is e raised to power 2t sin t now quickly uh, solve this last question laplace inverse of s minus 1 s minus 1 whole square plus 4 Quickly solve it. Just see this. E raised to power t cos 2t is the answer. Okay. Again, there's a substitution. S minus 1 is here. So S minus 1 means E raised to power t. Okay. And this one is 2 square. So, and plus 1 is here and S is here. So, cos term. So, e raised to power t cos 2t is the answer for this type of question. These are very interesting and easy questions and uh, that will be helpful in your assignment or in main exams. Now, we'll do some little bit different types of questions. So we have, suppose we have to calculate the Laplace inverse of this type of question. So uh, we have to uh, first it, make it uh, easy. So we'll divide each and every term by S cube. So uh, we'll get Laplace inverse of one upon S plus three upon S square plus eight upon S cube. And uh, we know that this formula Laplace inverse of one upon S raised to power N is T raised to power N minus one upon n minus 1 factorial. So we'll get that for 1 is 1 for plus 3t 1 factorial, we'll get 3t plus 4t square. Okay, when we uh, solve it, we'll get this type of answer. Now, what happens if the Laplace function is multiplied by s and we have to calculate the Laplace inverse. So you have to use this formula if the Laplace function is multiplied by S and you have to calculate the Laplace inverse of this type of function. So you can easily calculate the Laplace inverse of these type of functions by using this formula. Now we'll move towards different types of uh, functions uh, for which we have to calculate the inverse. Now you have to calculate the inverse of a function when the Laplace of this function is divided by s, or you can say it, it is multiplied by 1 by s. Suppose you have to find out the inverse Laplace of this type of function. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to just find out first its inverse of this uh, function fs, and then integrate it from 0 to t. You will get the inverse Laplace transform. You see this question, you have to find out the inverse Laplace transform of this function. Okay, this is a function at 1 upon s plus a. You know the, uh, the inverse Laplace transform of 1 upon s plus a. Okay, but here it is an additional term. There's a multiplication of 1 by s. So for this type of uh, problem, you have to just first find out the inverse of this 1 upon s plus a. Then you have to integrate it with respect to t from the limit 0 to t. So just solve this question. You have to calculate the inverse Laplace transform of this function. So first you will take the 1 upon s plus a Laplace inverse of this. And this is a substitution type. And this, is, this one is plus s plus something means there must be a um, exponential term. So you'll get e raised to power minus of a t here. And again, when uh, this whole, uh, you have to calculate the inverse of this whole term, this will be find out from, if you integrate it from zero to t, Laplace inverse one upon s plus a. So when you will uh, find out the inverse of this, you'll get e raised to power minus a t upon minus a from the limit 0 to t, you, when you will put it, you will get e raised to power minus a t upon minus a is a, as it is. 
and from this you will get one e raised to power zero to one and minus minus is one upon a. So uh, uh, when you solve it, you will get one upon a uh, bracket close one minus e raised to minus eight is the answer. So try to solve this from uh, this question one upon s upon s square plus one. Again, this is uh, this question is uh, very easy. First, you have to um, find out the inverse of one upon s square plus one. I think you is you can easily calculate the inverse of one upon s square plus one. Then integrate it from zero to t, and you will get the answer. If you have calculated, please comment on chat box. Uh, Irfan Ali, you are asking that S, where is the S? Which S you are talking? Actually, you have to convert S to T function. Here is the S. I think you are asking about this S. When you have uh, finding your or you have to calculate uh, you have to calculate this type of function where f s upon s you know one upon s plus a inverse then here it is a multiplication term one by s so you can easily find out by integrating it zero to t l inverse one upon s plus a the Laplace inverse of one upon s a is e raised to power a t and when you will integrate it, you will get the result. Okay, now try next question. So we'll see that the next question. I think wow, one or two students already calculated it, and their answer is absolutely correct. Uh, the answer is one minus cos t. Let us solve it. We have to uh, take the Laplace of this function. Well, Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus 1 equal to, you know that it is sine t. So Laplace inverse of 1 upon s, 1 upon s square plus 1 is, you have to integrate it 0 to t, Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square plus 1, and you'll get the answer. Uh, you will get the uh, 0 to t, and uh, this one is the sine t, and you have to integrate it. A uh, sine t integration is minus cos t and uh, from 0 to t and you will get the answer is 1 minus cos t. So uh, you can easily calculate the inverse of these type of functions. Now we will study some important uh, properties of uh, the inverse Laplace transform. This one is the first shifting theorem. And from first shifting theorem, uh, we can calculate the inverse of the Laplace transform. Uh, suppose if the inverse Laplace transform of fs is ft, of uh, and such that the uh, Laplace inverse of f s equal to f t. So if the if you have to calculate the Laplace inverse of f s plus one, it is easily calculated. That is equal to e raised to power minus a t Laplace inverse of f s, which we have already discussed and uh, you all know it very easily. Uh, so from this you can easily calculate the Laplace transform of these type of function. Suppose you have to calculate the Laplace inverse of one upon s plus four raised to power four. So uh, first you have to calculate the Laplace inverse of one upon s raised to power four, which value is uh, t raised to power uh, three upon uh, three factorial. And from uh, for this, you have to just write e raised to power 80, where a is four here. So e raised to power minus 40, Laplace inverse upon 1 upon s raised to power 4, which we have cal calculated. So the answer is e raised to power 40 t cube upon 3 factorial. This is the beauty of the first shifting property. Again, by using this first shifting property, you can calculate this type of Lap inverse Laplace transform. Suppose just see uh, the next question. You have to find out the Laplace inverse of s upon s squared plus 4s plus 13. Uh, first, you have to simplify it or make it uh, as you, you can easily calculate the inverse of these functions. So the Laplace inverse of you can add or subtract uh, plus two from this. And again, uh, for, for um, uh, making it uh, easy, you can convert this denominator as this. 
S plus two whole square plus three square, and you'll get the uh, and you can uh, partially divide it. So Laplace inverse of this function minus Laplace inverse of minus two upon this function. So by using uh, first shifting theorem, you can uh, see here this is S plus two means e raised to the power minus two t will be here, and Laplace inverse of S upon S square plus t square is cos three t. So this one is e raised to power minus two t cos three t, and from here you can uh, um, multiply or divide by three as there is a is missing here. You can see so e raised to power minus two t, and this one is s is not present means this one is sine three t term. So two by three is the constant. You can put it outside. So two by three e raised to power minus two uh, t sine three t is here. So Uh, this one is the solution of three, uh, third our example. You can again uh, calculate the inverse of this function by using the shifting property. Now we'll move towards some other type of uh, functions where we have to calculate the inverse Laplace transform of derivative. Basically, this method is used for solving the log type of our inverse trigonometric functions. Okay. So suppose you have a logarithm type of functions or in the inverse type of uh, trigonometric function, you can uh, use this uh, method. For this method, uh, if you have to find out the Laplace inverse, you have to just uh, take it minus one upon t Laplace inverse, and you have to just differentiate with respect to s here. Uh, we can understood it by this example. Suppose you have to calculate the Laplace inverse of log s plus one upon s minus one. So for uh, for solving, uh, I have already told you that for solving logarithmic type of problem, you have to uh, use this uh, property or this um, formula. So uh, this is uh, minus one upon t Laplace inverse of d by ds of this function f s log s plus one. Upon s minus one. So by using the inverse Laplace derivative, we can uh, easily find it. With this one is log m by n, so we can write it log m minus log n. By expanding it, we'll get minus one upon t Laplace inverse d by ds of log m minus d by ds of log n. And we know that the uh, we will first uh, calculate the differential of this. This one is one upon s plus one, and for this one is one upon s minus one. Then we'll find out the Laplace inverse of one upon s plus one, and we know that the Laplace inverse of one plus s plus one is e raised to power minus t, and the Laplace inverse of one upon s minus one is e raised to power t. So you can easily calculate the Laplace uh, inverse Laplace of logarithmic functions and inverse trigonometric function by using this method. Now, the inverse Laplace transform of integrals. Suppose you have to uh, find out uh, some uh, sometimes in questions uh, you have to find out the inverse Laplace transform by using the integral method, or if the denominator is of square type. So you can use this formula. Okay, you can see the denominator. Denominator is a square term. However, you can also calculate it by uh, with uh, this uh, question uh, with other or alternative methods. But if you will solve this with uh, this integral method, that will be very easy. So suppose uh, this is the question. You have to find out the in inverse Laplace transform of this equation. Uh, sorry, this uh, function. So for solving this. uh you have to just uh calculate or you have to just integrate it from s to infinity and then find out its in laplace inverse and then multiply by it t then you will get the result so uh, let us move towards this example uh, we have this question uh, we have to calculate the laplace inverse of 2s upon s square plus 1 so for this You have to integrate it from s to infinity, and this one is the function f s. And then finally, you have to calculate the Laplace inverse and multiply it by t. So when you uh, when you will take the integration, you will get this result, and uh, then put the uh, limits, and you will get for 
infinity you will get uh, minus zero plus and for this you will get minus minus is plus and you will get one upon one plus s square and then you know the laplace transform of one upon one plus s square is sine t okay and t is in multiplication for the formula okay so the answer for this the inverse laplace transform of this is t sin t so by using these methods you can easily find out the different types of uh, inverse laplace transform okay so now i will move uh, uh another method of calculating the inverse laplace transform suppose uh, we have uh, the this type of questions okay we have to calculate the inverse laplace transform of this type of question 1 upon s square minus 5s and you have to find out the this inverse okay so uh, first you will do the partial fraction of if you have this type of question first calculate or uh, find out the partial fraction and the partial fraction for this is laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus 3 okay then it's given 1 upon s minus 3 and minus 1 upon s minus 2 okay so the laplace inverse of first you will take the laplace uh, because you know that uh, it's an uh, function linearity uh, property so laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus 3 Minus Laplace inverse of one upon s minus two. So the Laplace inverse of this is e raised to power three t, and for this is e raised to power two t. So by using these, you can uh, calculate by fraction, uh, partial fraction. You can easily calculate the inverse Laplace transform. Again, uh, this is the formula. You uh, question. You can do it by yourself. Now I will move towards the important. Uh, topic of this uh, laplace uh, how you will calculate the uh, solution of the differential equation by using the laplace transform okay so uh, basically it is a very important um, uh, application of laplace and inverse laplace transform to find out the solution of differential equation by using uh, these two transformations so suppose i'll just move towards the question and uh, i will explain each and every term uh, basically there are three steps for calculating or finding out the result of uh, some differential equation suppose you have a differential equation of this type uh, i have uh, it is already mentioned is here y double dash plus a y dash plus b y equal to rt and these are the conditions are given for y0 and y dash 0 okay first you have to take the the step one is yeah, you have to first set up the subsidiary equation the subsidiary equation you can find out by taking the laplace of this equation uh, the differential equation both the sides okay so now for uh, calculating the uh, for finding out the result the step one is you have to just take the laplace in both the sides okay then you have to now uh, as you have uh, calculated the uh, laplace then you have to collect the y terms in one side and other remaining uh, terms in the right hand side and you know the values of y dash 0 is given or some other y 0 is given you have to just put the values in this then the step 2 is you have to make it uh, you have to uh, first calculate the transfer function basically the transfer function is is uh, 1 divided by this coefficient of y this is called the transfer function as you have find out the transfer function then you have to solve the uh, this equation okay then um apply the initial condition which whichever you you have given and the step third is inversion of y to obtain is you have to again take the laplace inverse okay uh, we can understood it by some example suppose uh, this is a question you have to solve the following uh, equation by using the laplace transform so this one is uh, y double dash minus y equal to t and these uh, conditions are given y0 equal to 1 and y dash 0 equal to 1 so the uh, the step one is you have to take the laplace transform of this equation for getting the subsidiary equation so uh, 
just put it laplace of y double dash minus laplace of y equal to laplace of t it is very important to note that you have to take the laplace in both the side if there is zero there is no change but if there in the right hand side there must uh, there is a function there must be a change in the uh, laplace form so uh, we know that this is the laplace trans form of derivative this is the equation and this is the formula by using this you will get this subsidiary equation s square y minus s y 0 minus y dash equal minus y equal to 1 upon s square because the laplace transform of t is 1 upon s square now arranging the terms y capital y terms in one side and other terms in the right hand side and put the value of y 0 is 1 and y dash 0 is one which is given so you'll get s square uh, this one is y term this one is y term so s square minus one y equal to y zero is one y does zero is one so we'll get s plus one plus one upon s square so this is the subsidiary equation now we'll calculate the transfer function and transfer function is one upon one upon of 1 upon of this y coefficient means 1 upon s square minus 1 is s square 1 is the transfer function and now solve this equation you have y equal to s plus 1 upon s square minus 1 and plus 1 upon s square and s square minus 1 so by uh, uh, then uh, we can simplify it by partial fraction and we'll get y upon 1 upon s minus 1 plus 1 upon s square minus 1 plus minus 1 upon s square. This is the partial fraction of this uh, equation. And when you will get this partial fraction, then finally take the inverse of this Laplace transform. So by taking the inverse Laplace transform, we'll get yt equal to Laplace inverse of y. This is Laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus 1 plus Laplace in Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square minus 1 minus 1 upon s square. And you know that the Laplace inverse of 1 upon s minus 1 is e raised to power t. And the Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square minus 1 is sine hyperbolic t. And the Laplace inverse of 1 upon s square is minus t. So by using this Laplace and Laplace inverse, you can easily find out the different types of solution of the differential equation easily. Here are some other questions. You can uh, uh, you can take a snapshot or you can take a photo for solving these questions. You can uh, find out the solution of these differential equation by using the Laplace transform methods. Here it is a, again a sol uh, solve problem. You can just take it. Here y dash minus 2y equal to e raised to power 3x again. For this type of uh, question, y0 equal to uh, minus 5 is given. First, you have to take the Laplace in both the sides. Okay. As soon as, as you calculate the Laplace, here P denotes S basically. Okay. As you have calculated the Laplace, both the sides, just find out the subsidiary equation. As you find out the subsidiary equation, then uh, 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 calculate it uh, by fraction method you can decompose it by this type of you can find out that minus 6 upon uh, this p denotes the s basically in this question s minus 2 plus 1 upon s minus 3 and then finally you have to take the again the La, uh, inverse laplace transform as you calculated the inverse laplace transform you'll get the the final result the solution of this type of differential equation is this one minus 6 e raised to power 2x plus e raised to power 3x. So you can see that it is very easy to calculate the uh, solution of the differential equation by using um, the, the Laplace and the inverse Laplace transform. So uh, I have mentioned some other applications of Laplace transform. There are uh, uh, different types of application of this Laplace transform, which we have discussed in this lecture and in uh, our previous lecture also. Uh, you can see that it is also used to determine the structures of astronomical object of a spectrum and for uh, generating function in statics 
and it is basically used in simulation types of softwares also it is also using in uh, economics and many more applications are there i have also put some que self assessment questions uh, you have to just take the inverse laplace transform of different types of function you can write it down or in your paper or you can take a snapshot here are some reference book which i have already mentioned in our previous lecture here you can buy these books these are very uh, worth these books so thank you so much